everybody, what is going on? Welcome to Regular Josh 1. Before we start this video, please make sure to hit that like button in this video, and if you're new, subscribe. And, ladies and gentlemen, my new podcast that I am a part of, which is the Starfleet 86 Audio Drama Podcast, has released its very, very first episode on Spotify today. The link will be in the description, and also you can just find us on Spotify under Starfleet 86. Go ahead and check out the very first episode, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of year where we now have the nominations for Nickelodeon's award show, the Kids' Choice Awards. Man, it's funny how when it comes to this award show, like, every year, even when I was a kid, and even now, in my 20s, I'm always still checking it out, or sometimes checking out the nominations. If anything, I haven't really looked at their nominations in a long time. It's, it's been a while since I've done it, and it, even just on this channel in general, like I haven't necessarily looked over it. So in this video, we are going to be going over the nominations right now. Very interested to see what this is going to be. Again, it's been a while since I've done this. So here is the nominations for the Kids Choice Awards. And the first one is favorite kids TV show. So we got Alexa and Katie, certainly never heard of that one. Are you afraid of the dark? I've certainly seen like promos for it and I haven't seen too many airings of it on Nickelodeon. Then we also have, which is interesting, Danger Force and Henry Danger. I'm really shocked that Henry Danger is being nominated, considering that, yeah, it did end last year, so I guess in a way it could still technically be considered best TV show for 2021, but this the series ended in like March, I believe. So like, I mean, I don't know. I just find it to be weird. Then you also have High School Musical, the musical, the series, and seriously, that is such a weird name, a weird title for a series. And then you got Raven's Home on Disney Channel. I've seen a couple of episodes and it's definitely pretty good. May the best show win, even though I'm pretty sure it's going to be either Danger Force or Henry Danger. I mean, I mean, let's, let's be real. It's, it's, we all know it's just going to be obvious at this point. All right. So now next one is favorite family TV show. We got Blackish. I, that is definitely one of my favorite shows. Next is Cobra Kai. I've heard so many things about Cobra Kai. Like my God brother continuously talks about Cobra Kai to me constantly. It wouldn't surprise me if that's one to win, because again, it's been like the talk of the internet for a very long time. Then you got Fuller House. What is, Fuller House still doing more seasons? Then you got Stranger Things, The Mandalorian, and Young Sheldon. If I gotta pick which ones would definitely win, it probably would be either The Mandalorian, because you know how many Star Wars fans are out there, especially ones that are also kids, and then probably Cobra Kai would be one to win as well. You never really know. But I'm gonna go ahead and vote for Blackish. That is out of the six. That's the only one I really watched. All right, so now we got favorite reality show. Of course, we got America's Got Talent. I mean, I, I that one's gonna win because I think that one wins every single year. Then you got American Idol. American Ninja Warrior Jr. I forgot that was a thing. You got Lego Masters. I've never checked out Lego Masters. What channel does it even air on? I'm not I'm not even sure what show that is. Is it like people building like massive Lego structures or something? Which if it is, probably something I could check out. Those Lego structures can definitely be kind of cool, you know? You got The Voice and you got The Masked Singer. I, I don't know which one I really want to vote on. I mean, I kind of like The Voice, but I haven't really watched it that much. The Masked Singer is apparently pretty big. That one's an interesting show. Um, you know, if anything, I guess I'll go with Lego Masters, because why not? I would have voted for America's Got Talent, but... I got some feelings about America's Got Talent, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of have, like, a love-hate relationship with it, if that makes sense. Okay, favorite anim- oh, oh, God. And favorite animated series. Okay, you know what? This is the one category that is just pointless at this time. All right? Like, I, I, everybody- okay. First of all, let's just read over it. Alvin and the Chipmunks, Legos, Jurassic World, Leg Legends of Ice, whatever the hell that says, SpongeBob SquarePants, Teen Titans Go, The Boss Baby Back in Business? Why would you even nominate that? There is no chance in hell that's going to win. Nobody likes The Boss Baby, come on! And then The Loud House. I mean, again, this 
this category is pointless because everybody knows, everybody and their mother knows SpongeBob is going to win because it wins every flipping year. I'm going to I'm going to vote for the Loud House anyway, you know, just to give it a different vote, but still, we, we this is a point this is pointless. All right? SpongeBob is going to win. All right, so favorite movie. Okay, this one is definitely interesting. For one, you got Doolittle. Um that was I haven't seen the movie, but it didn't really get any good reception. You got Hamilton, Kubi, Halloween. I've never heard of it, but that's an Adam Sandler movie, so that's interesting. Mulan! Mulan has been- Are you kidding me? Mulan has been nominated for best movie? Are you guys high? I mean- <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog and Wonder Woman 1984. Obviously, I'm going to vote for Sonic the Hedgehog. That's the only movie I really watched out of all of these. But also, I just want to mention, Hamilton's not a movie, guys. Okay? Hamilton is not a movie. It's a musical that was filmed for the big screen. So it's not a movie, all right? I mean, like, yeah, you could, you could kind of say that it was filmed somewhat as a movie, I guess. But I don't know. I don't think we should really consider Hamilton as a movie. You know what I mean? It's it's a Broadway musical. That's all I really got to say about it. But yeah, voting for Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, so now we got favorite animated movie. So we got Onward. That one kind of had like a mixed reception, I believe. I haven't checked it out. We got Phineas and Ferb. The movie, Candace Against the Universe. I, I, you guys know my feelings on that one. I, I love the movie. It was great. You got Crude, The New Age. I've heard a couple of good things about that one as well. Trolls World Tour, Scoob, Scoob. Yeah, okay. Um, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm just gonna stay silent on that. And then Soul. So, I'm, I haven't seen Soul. I'm still not necessarily all that interested in seeing it. Uh, I would give it to Trolls World Tour because I did particularly like that film. But Phineas and Ferb, the movie, honestly, that, that wins it. So, uh, definitely voting for that one. Favorite female artists. Okay, so we got Beyonce, Billie Eilish, Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande, Katy Perry, and Taylor Swift. I think we all know who's gonna win this. Probably Taylor Swift because she wins freaking everything. But um, I'm gonna vote for Billie Eilish mainly because uh, a couple of reasons. One, I do like a couple of her uh, uh, songs 100%. And also because I actually did work with her brother at one point during the choir uh, for about a couple of years. So um, that's kind of cool. So I'm, I'm glad to see how far he's gone and or how far he's come and everything like that. So that's cool. So Billie Eilish for me. Favorite male artist, Justin Bieber, fuck no. Drake, Pulse Malone, Shawn Mendes. Harry Styles and The Weeknd. Gonna be honest with you, the most, the person I like the most out of this list is The Weeknd. I got a couple of uh, of his songs that are my favorite, so instantly going to just vote for The Weeknd. Favorite music group, Black Eyed Peas. Are they back as a group? I didn't know that. I mean, I, I thought I thought they were still separated. I haven't heard any music from them in a while. Uh, you got Black Pink, BTS. Oh. Jesus Christ. Jonas Brothers, M Maroon 5, and One Republic. God, who's going to win? Which one of the groups has the biggest fan base? Could it be Jonas Brothers? Or no, it's BTS. Everybody freaking knows BTS is going to win. Do you guys know how insane K-pop fans are? Jeez, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't even need to say anything else. God. All right, so favorite female social star. Oh, boy. Emma Chamberlain. You got Charlie D'Amelio. Of course you do. Gamer Girl. No idea who that is. Addison Rae. Jojo Siwa. And Maddie Zig, whatever her name is. I'm just going to vote for Addison Rae because uh, absolutely not for Jojo Siwa. I don't know why people like her. Her songs are... I mean, well, I, I mean, I guess she got a, per a bubbly personality or whatever, but nah, just not my... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, favorite male social star, James Charles. God. <laughs> then you got Jason Derulo, David Dobrik, Ryan's World, Mr. Beast, and Ninja. Mr. Beast, I mean, I don't really watch his videos or anything like that, though, but uh, I like his burgers. 
So, I mean, that's, yeah, that's not an excuse. But still, he, he does, like, really good jobs on, 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 like, what he does in terms of trying to help out a lot of people and all that other stuff. So, you know, just for what he does with his platform, I'm gonna vote for Mr. Beast. Favorite video game, Among Us. Never played it, but I know how much people love that game. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I don't have the Switch. I, I wish I could play Animal Crossing, but... I never ended up getting any more gaming consoles at all, so I, there's no way I can play that game. You got Fortnite, of course, every kid's favorite game. I think it's still big right now. Minecraft, Pokemon Go, and Roblox. For the hell of it, I'm going to vote for Animal Crossing because Animal Crossing is adorable. All right, everybody, and that was the nominations for the KCAs. Uh, certain choices were, were definitely interesting. Like, again, the fact that Mulan even got recognized at all is honestly mind-boggling to me. You then also have Henry Danger and Danger Force being nominated at the same time for Favorite Kids Show. And again, one of those is gonna win. We all know it. Like, it's, it's obvious. For Favorite Animated Series. Can we just stop having that category, please? I mean, because again, everybody knows, because it happens every flipping year, SpongeBob is going to win. And that's honestly kind of all I have to really say about this video. I did vote a lot in this video, as you guys saw. Um, tell me what you guys thought about the uh, nominations that I went over throughout this video. Uh, I, uh, depending on how long this video is, I did cut out a couple of them. I, I mean, I did, I did vote for all of them, but some of them have not necessarily been shown. And also, let me know if you have also voted what did you guys vote for? Thank you guys so much for joining this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and hit the bell to be notified of my next video. And also check out Starfleet 86 on Spotify. Again, the first episode did come out. And until next time, I will see you guys later. And remember, you're hearing it from a regular bunny and a regular world. Peace out. Thanks,